Hi there YouTube, um, just bring you part 2 of my uh, um, Sega Mega Drive collection obviously I had to cut it short because I was running out of time um, so anyway we're carrying on so welcome back um, obviously what the hell happened to this this was like in a box and when I pulled it out it's like missing this plastic bit um, and it's very beaten up and I'm really disappointed because this was one of my favourite games it was like really hilarious and just a classic I do believe the SNES version was better but equally still as good still the same sort of game uh, just a bit different but I mean look fuck man like pfft, we're going to have to be getting a new uh, either case or a new inlay if I can get it we'll just buy the whole new game again and just frog the cartridge in this for anyone that just wants to play it because this is terrible so yeah anyway so that's Zombies um, Ate My Neighbours or whatever it was called uh, by Konami uh, very good game sort of overhead shooter but what do we get to now um, we've got Robocop vs Terminator another hilarious um, uh, what they call it I've never noticed that. Jesus, look at that. What happened there? That was not like that when I bought it, like many moons ago. But basically, yeah, um, this was quite obviously, you've played it, it's quite a funny game. It's just senseless violence and just complete nonsense in the whole game. Um, it's just over the top killing. Um, I did buy a second hand, but let me see the. Blockbuster I bought it, it's when Blockbuster was selling all their rentals and I went in there with a lot of money and bought up all their rentals at the time because I thought 249 you can't go wrong with this game but I just noticed some damage there man Whoa. Um, but yeah, very funny game, good worth having um, we've got uh, Splatterhouse 2 obviously adaption of the sequel of the arcade um, very good for Genesis, music was pretty epic uh, the game itself was pretty good as well um, did sort of keep as much to sort of an arcade style um, some of the bosses were ridiculously hard on it that I remember I think I only ever beat it once uh, because it's a really annoying bit like uh, where you've got to keep throwing things at this octopus thing and if it gets to your boat you're pretty much dead so We've got uh, Jimmy White's um, well, Whirlwind Sneaker even, um, very good game, it looked amazing when it came out, um, The obviously it was on Amiga um, and probably like Atari ST and stuff, but um, the, for a Mega Drive it did look awesome, like the virtual reality style, sort of like virtual pool kind of looking thing, in fact it's probably by the same people isn't it, is it by Interplay maybe? Possibility. Um, if it was, then uh, that'd be why. Um, so this is worth keeping. I mean, just for the the snooker heritage, really. For Jimmy White, obviously being a fantastic player. Uh, we've got um, Bruce Butthead, um, which is a crazy game. Again, what the hell does this is through store in a man? I'd never even noticed that. Oh well. So two forty nine. Um, crazy game. Super hard though. Like you just seem to die like all the time because everything's at you. It's a bit like a Bart versus you know Simpsons Bart versus the Space Mutants kind of thing. Like where everything just kills you. Um, we've got a PAL version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Quite nice. Um, so yeah, that's nice. I do need to get Sonic 3 um, because uh, I didn't actually own it. I think I used to borrow my mates and uh, I was going to buy it and I should have bought it because now they're really expensive. But uh, we've got here Tasmanian um, Devil game. Actually, quite a good game in ways, um, but the background music is absolutely awful. It really is shite. Um, this is a Sega Genesis one. So, you know, I don't know, it's, uh, oh god, this game, Marco's Magic Football, um, 
graphically very appealing. Gameplay is ridiculously hard um, and kind of funny in ways. Uh, but there was always this joke with me and my mate. Um, I had like a Domark game, which was MiG-29, and I swapped him for this because he was quite into his flight sims on Mega Drive and stuff, so I swapped him for this. Um, but it was quite a good swap because uh, it's one of those games that, you know, I mean, look, it's animation-wise is really good, but it's just a ridiculously hard game. You just... It's just everything's out to kill you again. It's like another like that soccer kid on um, on the Amiga. Um, where we have to speed this up quick. Um, I've got Olympics, uh, Summer Games. Um, this is worth it. Um, sort of animation and graphics were pretty tight on that. Um, we've got Wonder Boy in Monsterland. Um, that needs cleaning up really. Uh, what have we got? Hard driving, um, cartridge only. Um, not sure why I've got that. And I've also got Cosmic Space Head, cartridge only. Not sure why. Um, we've got Ren and Stimpy. Um, it's Stimpy's invention. Very, very good game. Very short, but very stupid and funny. Definitely worth keeping. I would never get rid of this. It was just sort of brought up the whole sort of cartoon sort of humour in the whole game. Um, we've got Castlevania, uh, the new generation, or this was called Bloodlines, um, in the sort of NTS USA version, which had like proper blood in the game. This, there's no blood. Um, but it was a quite good looking game, not as good as Super Castlevania 4, but nothing was going to touch that really at the time. Uh, we've got Echo the Dolphin, uh, sort of like a Genesis one, very beaten up. Um, and then we've got um, Sonic 2 for the PAL version. Uh, I had this ever since I had a Mega Drive. Um, we've got Turbo Outrun, um, pretty nice game. Um, not as good as the original Outrun, but not too bad. And also we've got uh, Ghouls and Ghosts again by Mr. Foremost. Uh, obviously it doesn't have a case but a killer game pretty good challenge and so on um, so if you like the video then please like, comment, subscribe also follow me on Twitter at zbailey2005 this time I actually didn't say it properly and also you can follow me on Facebook uh, just find the banner on my channel you can find a link to that and cheers for watching hope you enjoyed my collection and this is me over and out, cheers, bye